Welcome to English Grammar Spot. This lesson is about comparisons. Look at these sentences. That man is old. That man is older than me. That man is the oldest man I know. The second and the third sentence are what we call comparisons. The second sentence is a comparative and the third sentence is a superlative. I'll explain more about these two terms later on in the video. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to make comparisons with adjectives, the exceptions, so the irregular forms, comparisons with adverbs, and obviously the exceptions there, a construction that we call as, as, and when to use as or like. Now let's get started. What is a comparative? A comparative compares two things, usually in combination with the word then. My sister is taller than me. The superlative compares three or more things, usually in combination with the. She's the tallest of them all. So where the comparative only compared me and my sister, with the superlative, my sister is compared to everyone and we have concluded that she's the tallest. How to form comparisons? When it concerns one syllable adjectives such as old, young and quick, we simply add ER to the adjective for the comparative and EST to the adjective for the superlative. So we have the adjective old and the comparative is older and the superlative is oldest. The same goes for young. Young, younger, youngest. And quick, quicker, quickest. I'm going to show you some examples in sentences. For example, my grandfather is old, my grandmother is older than him, but their neighbour is the oldest person alive. So, my grandfather is old. Here, old is an adjective because it says something about the noun, my grandfather. Then when we compare my grandfather to my grandmother, we must conclude that my grandmother is older. So here we use a comparative. But when we compare their neighbour to my grandmother and grandfather, or more, when we compare the neighbour of my grandmother and grandfather to the rest of the world, we must conclude that he is the oldest, so the superlative form. I am young. My brother is younger than me, but my sister is the youngest in our family. A lion is quick, a leopard is quicker, but a cheetah is the quickest of felines. Now please note, one syllable adjectives that end in an E, such as save, we only add an R or ST. Safe, safer, safest. Now it is a little bit trickier when it comes to two syllable adjectives. When the stress is on the second syllable, we add ER or EST to the adjective. For example, quiet, quieter, quietest. The stress in quiet is on the final syllable, quiet. So we add ER and EST. Quiet, quieter, quietest. Yet when the stress is on the first syllable, we put more in front of the comparative and most in front of the superlative. So we don't use ER or EST. For example, silent, more silent, most silent. Please note that the stress in silent is on the first syllable. Adjectives with three syllables or more just simply put more or most before the adjective. So more for the comparative and most for the superlative. London is beautiful, yet I consider Venice more beautiful. And in my opinion, Paris is the most beautiful city in the world. Now, obviously, there are some exceptions. First, the words that we call leersome we. These are adjectives that end in the letters above and that contain two or more syllables with a stress on the second syllable. 
With these words, we also add ER or EST. Little, littler, littlest. Clever, cleverer, cleverest. Handsome, handsomer, handsomest. Narrow, narrower, narrowest. And happy, happier, happiest. And please note that the Y has become an I. The general exceptions are good, better, best, bad, worse, worst, much, ma or many, more and most, and far, further, furthest. These are the most common ones and it is advisable that you just simply study them because there's no rule to follow here. And please note that bad, badder, baddest is incorrect. Now let's have a look at adverbs. One syllable adverbs such as hard and late or fair. We also add ER for the comparative or EST for the superlative. Fast, faster, fastest. Late, later, latest. Fair, fairer, fairest. For example, I drive fast, yet my mum drives faster, but my little brother drives the fastest. Please note that an adverb here says something about the verb, the way we drive. The train arrived late, luckily my connecting shuttle bus was later and thankfully my plane departed the latest of them all. When it comes to two or more syllable adverbs such as easily, carefully and calmly, we put more for the comparative or most for the superlative before the adverb. Easily, more easily, most easily. Carefully, more carefully, most carefully. Calmly, more calmly, most calmly. For example, he drove easily or carefully through the desert, yet he drove more easily or more carefully through the woods and most easily or most carefully on the highway. Also with the adverbs, we have some exceptions some irregular forms. Well, better, best. Remember, with the adjectives, it was good, better, best. Little, less, least. Much, more, most. Now let's have a look at the construction that we call as, as. Here again, we are comparing two things. So this goes for as, as, or not as, big dot, dot, as, or not so, dot, dot, as. She's as tall as me, so we both have the same height. She's not as tall as my sister. Now you can use not as as, but we can also use not so as. There's no difference there. So she's not so tall as my sister. Now let's have a look at like or as. In speech, these two can be used similarly, such as why don't you go by bike as I do? Oh, why don't you go by bike like I do? Yet there is a difference. Please note, he lives like a rich man in Malibu or he lives as a rich man in Malibu. Here we have a change in meaning. If someone lives like a rich man in Malibu, he's not necessarily rich. But when we say he lives as a rich man in Ma Malibu, this person is definitely rich. So here there's a difference in meaning. I thank you for your attention. For regular updates, please subscribe to youtube.com slash englishgrammarsport or go to www.englishgrammarsport.com.